Bit Fire Commentary number 154. We're doing the last of the challenges that I asked for all the way back in motherfucking November. And yes, this is some fucking Halo 4. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's um Halo 4 campaign, right? It doesn't this look like some Halo 4 campaign or some shit? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, the video comes from XTR Triforce V. What the fuck? Why? Can you put more shit in your fucking name? Yeah, what, what the fuck? Is that like some kind of like Zelda shit? <laughs> Why you got so much damn shit in your name, man? Look, just have a simple fucking name, man. I don't know. People call all these damn weird names and shit like that. But anyway, man, like I said, I did all these challenges back in November, and I asked people for all these games before the games actually came out, although I think uh, Halo was already out or some shit like that. What the fuck is this guy doing? Is this like the beginning of the game? I don't know, but he just threw that motherfucker off. <laughs> no, but anyway, like I said, I did this shit back in November, so I had no idea what these games would be like. I didn't know if they were going to be good games, bad games, but you know, I picked ones that I knew people would most likely buy and shit like that. You know, damn, that motherfucker's like three feet taller than your ass. Oh, oh, oh XTR Inception. Oh, this must be a clan or some shit, because now, now they got all these damn things. <laughs> people put their clan tags in their names and shit. I, I can't do What the fuck are these? What the hell is that little thing? That was like some little troll or some shit. Look at this motherfucker. Damn, I, I don't get it, man. But anyway, like I said, I did all these these challenges back in November. And obviously, I tried picking games that I figured people were going to find very popular. Call of Duty and Black Ops was obviously on that list. Um, I didn't know Medal of Honor was going to suck that bad, and that's why we only had two of those bitches. Uh, Assassin's Creed, obviously, is very popular. Need for Speed has always been popular. I mean, people play that shit all the time. And then Halo. And I was very surprised because at one point, there was this streak of, like, five of, of six or seven videos and shit like that it was just non-stop halo i told people hey i've never received a game on halo and everybody said oh shit i gotta go out there and send them some halo i was like all right so we could we could do all that bullshit so i was like all right this, this ain't too bad and then i'm trying to like read the subtitles because you know I, I know a little bit about halo i don't know a lot about it but we're going to talk about this uh halo 4 bullshit in a minute but anyway like i was saying all those challenges back in november are now complete what i do have now up are three different challenges there's a black ops challenge there's a uh just a regular scavenger hunt which will probably be done pretty quickly so if you haven't gone over there by now there's a good chance that you might get there and there might not be no more challenges left <laughs> and then i believe there's an old school challenge that people already completed i already got everyone all the the videos that i want to do for that motherfucker so that shit was um pretty quickly so i was like all right so that one's done so i'm gonna be doing some uh old school hit fire commentary videos and then obviously we'll get some of those shits in uh, a little bit later or whatnot so Next videos will not be any of the new shit. Next videos are going to go into some of these new challenges. I might see some crazy shit on my channel. Who knows what the fuck I'm going to see. I do have some Black Ops. I think there's four Black Ops challenges out there. But I wanted to make sure they were hard. So that people had to earn that shit. Wow. They, I, I don't get it. Those little munchkins just like run at you. And they, they just stand there and just take shots. And this fucking guy is bigger than the munchkins. And with invisibility or, or armor. I don't know what the fuck that shit is. And you can't kill this son of a bitch. And how come you're blinking red? But damn, you haven't died yet. What the fuck? Uh, I guess that just shows, like, you know, Master Chief is badass and shit. <laughs> nah, man, but anyway, get into this shit. Now, I have a real issue with this whole part four shit of, of anything, of any genre, whether it's a video game, whether it's a, a movie, whether it's a comic book, a book, whatever the fuck, any genre that tacks on something to a trilogy, I have problems with. And I'll give you a great example. Everybody knows the Indiana Jones trilogy. Hopefully people are old enough to know Indiana Jones and shit. That was a great trilogy. Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, and then The Last Crusade. Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. Now tell me, why the fuck did they add on to that shit? Why the hell did they need that Indiana Jones and the Crystal, uh, the Crystal Skull, or Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, whatever that stupid shit, whatever the fuck it was, it was a horrible fucking movie. Then they add that idiot Shia LaBeouf, whatever the fuck that dumbass kid's name is, man. Oh, God, are you fucking serious, man? Why did you kill that damn series with that stupid-ass movie? You know, I can understand if you actually had a reason to add a fourth movie, there was no reason other than they wanted to make some more money on this bitch. That was fucking atrocious, man. And now we're going to have this other bullshit. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> he started playing Black Ops 2. <laughs> oh, man, I feel sorry for that son of a bitch. He's probably looking at you playing Halo. Be like, why are you playing Halo, man? Stop playing this bullshit. No, but anyway, getting, getting into all that crap, man. You know, if, if you have a reason to make a fourth movie where, where there's no, like, trilogy added on to it, fine. Man, make your money. Milk the series for all it's worth. I don't really give a shit. But when you're just making a fourth movie or game in a series it just shows that you're just milking the franchise for all the money it's possibly worth and, here, and here's the difference obviously a game like halo it had a complete story arc and, and what do i mean by that a story arc starts with your intro to the characters and whatnot 
Then you get into the actual arc of the story, the confrontation, whatever it is, whatever the challenge is that your main character has to get into, and then there comes the conclusion, right? So each one of the three games provides each piece of it, and then within each game, obviously, you have the, the start, the arc, and the conclusion. So part one is usually the introduction to your character and introduction to the to the main plot of the game. And then part two adds the main confrontation. The hard shit that you think that the character is not gonna survive or whatever the fuck it is. And usually that's the second movie or, or the second game or whatever the fuck you wanna call it. The final one is the conclusion to your series. And if you look at series that had trilogies, like great trilogies, you can look at video games. You had Halo that did it. You have uh, Resistance that did it. You had, um, what was this most recent one? I just, just slipped on my Mass Effect. Mass Effect did it. And then you go out to the movies, and movies do it as well. You have movies that complete their arc. Then what do they do? They go out and they add more just because they want to make more fucking money. It's fucking irritating. There is no reason to add a fourth movie just to make money. There isn't. Obviously, it's just a money grab. Unless you can find a decent reason. I know people are going to say, oh, well, Halo sort of reset the idea. And I think, what, what is he facing? The the, uh, the Forerunners this time or some shit like that? I know he had to face the Covenant. He had to face the Flood. And why is the, oh, that dude got a shield? <laughs> Goes to show you shields don't fucking work. Not even in the damn campaign. So anyway, he, he, he had, you had him fighting all these motherfuckers or whatever. The, the Flood, the Covenant. And, and, and if I'm not mistaken, this is supposed to fight the Forerunners or some shit? Am I, am I right on that? I know the Halo buffs will correct me and they'll they'll uh, tell me what the story is and all that bullshit. But if I'm not mistaken, that was the idea, was that he was going to face all this whole new uh, genre of enemies. He, he awakes an ancient evil, if I'm not remember, if I'm remembering the, uh, the uh, whatchamacallit, right? The trailer's right and all that shit, man. But just milking the series for all it's worth, I find that fucked up. And I'm sure there are plenty of Halo fans, they say, yes, I love it, I'm going to get some more Halo and shit like that. And they had a prequel. Didn't they have Halo Reach that tells you how he got to that point in this fucking... This shit, man, it just didn't, it didn't work for me, man. I don't like when you milk a series. And you know what the next one is. Everybody knows what the next milk is going to be. It's going to be fucking Star Wars with Disney. Oh, my God, man. I mean, you got to be serious with that shit. First of all, the original Star Wars was fine. It, it had its issues. Nobody's going to sit here and say it was the best movie of all time. It had its problems. It wasn't perfect. So you, you complete the series. You have uh, your start. You have your second movie. You have your conclusion to the motherfucker. Luke, I'm not your father. Or Luke, I am your father. And all that bullshit. <laughs> Fuck that lineup. <laughs> <laughs> now what you have all that shit, right? And then they decided they're gonna release prequels. And the prequels were some stupid ass shit with fucking Anakin Skywalker as a damn kid showing how he became Star Wars. Like, really? Who gives a motherfucking shit, man? I don't give a fuck. Now, George Lucas decided he gonna sell Star Wars over to Disney. And Disney is known for milking shit. Disney will milk the fuck out of anything. I mean, you could have a cow, and the cow could be completely out of milk, and they will still have their hands under that motherfucker grabbing some udders hoping to get some more milk out that bitch. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, Disney, they'll milk a cow to the point that they look up and the cow is like a male. <laughs> Imagine that shit, man. You look up and you're like, wait a second, this ain't a female cow. I've basically been giving this cow a hand job. <laughs> I don't know where I came up with that shit. Talking about fucking Disney giving cow hand jobs, ain't you? Anyway, man, getting back to what I was saying. This <laughs> I can't even think about it. Now I'm thinking about fucking cow hand jobs and shit. No, but Disney is milking the shit out of the Star Wars series. We could all agree on that shit, right? I mean, it's just a little absurd that they need six or three more movies, and I'm sure they're going to expand into endless movies. I can understand if a story doesn't have a start and a finish. You know, you look at, like, Uncharted. Uncharted doesn't have a start and a finish to the whole series. You basically, you play one game, it's its own unique adventure, you move on to another game. Yeah, they reference some of the prior games. But it's not like it stops after the third game. It's not like Nathan... Damn, there's a lot of motherfuckers on this map. It's not like Nathan Drake dies or some shit like that. You know, you can continue the story on. And Halo sent... What's his name? Master Chief off into fucking space and shit like that. And it was like, okay, yeah, we were just gonna leave it open in case you want to do part four. And real quick, I'm noticing the time limit on this shit. I'm seeing nine minutes. And that little timer bar, whatever the fuck, that shit don't look like one minute left. That damn sure don't look like 45 seconds. I'll tell you right now, you better get under this 10 minute time limit. Yeah, this looks like this shit is going to go over. And if it goes over, I'm going to be quite pissed. Now, you guys have to understand, I have rules on these fucking videos. And I say 10 minutes for a reason. If I want a 10 minute video, I want a 10 minute video. I don't want bullshit. I don't want, you know, videos recorded with like a fucking toaster and shit like that. I make these rules very specific, especially on the website, where I have the rules laid out in this motherfucker. Yeah, this shit is not finishing in 15 seconds. I know that shit. So this motherfucker is obviously going to go over the damn time limit. And guess what? You are now going to join Goob76, whatever the fuck his name is, 876, on the ban list of people that didn't pay attention to the fucking rules. 
<laughs> oh yeah, there we go. There's the 10 minute marks. I'm not even gonna look at this fucking video anymore. So I'm cutting off the rest of this shit or wherever the fuck I finish this goddamn commentary. But I'm not gonna watch the rest of this fucking video. Because I specifically said I wanted 10 minutes of Halo campaign footage. Like you see, you could have cut it right here, I guess. Or whatever the fuck and just like fast forwarded some shit. But no, that's it for you, man. You are now on the ban list of no more fucking videos. So that was a very quick trip to the Hipfire commentary series for XTR Triforce V because now he's banned. <laughs> That was a simple one. Anyway, I'm cutting off the rest of this shit. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in the next videos, which will be all new challenges to the Hip Fire Commentary series.